بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I'm sure a lot of people are talking very, very good about it. Basically, I have not seen anyone talking bad about this quadcopter on YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk, I'm going to start with cons. That means bad things that I felt about this quadcopter. And I have put them down on my papers. So let's start with the cons first. Number one, material is very, very good quality. However, what worries me is one day you crash it and you break these beautiful futuristic arms. Of course, if you break your propellers, you get additional spare propellers or you can buy more. But what if you break this body? What if you break the camera gimbal? This is going to be a painful repair. Uh, not to mention if we can actually readily find the shell for this quadcopter well i i have a friend who said you know what if you crash it take out the flight controller and everything and put it on some other quadcopter of yours and turn it into you know follow an awesome quadcopter using the radio well that is one idea well that is a good idea we will think about it when i crash it but so far i have not actually uh, seen any disappointing performance on this flight and I think this quadcopter is not that easy to crash unless some GPS glitches happen which I have seen a little scary ones but not some serious ones number two number two camera stabilization is perfect I mean I have never seen such amazing astonishing beautiful camera stabilization on this kind of or this grade of uh, RTF quadcopters honestly I have to give it to a unique uh, team who actually uh, developed this camera gimbal that this is absolutely astonishing stabilization performance this is this is what we call next generation stabilization however when you are flying sideways and if it is a windy day you're flying a little bit fast you can see a little bit shakes in your video check this clip out Now you have seen that I had shakes, you could notice the shakes, not noticeable for uh, beginner eyes but intermediate to professional people will easily notice those shakes. So in order to actually utilize the absolute beautiful stabilization of this camera gimbal, I would suggest you, you fly this one slowly, don't fly it too fast, take your shots as I said, plan your shots and fly slow and steady. Number three, my biggest problem, uh, I do have one or two bigger problems with this quadcopter. The number one biggest problem is the color and the tone of the colors of this camera video or the pictures. Basically, picture quality honestly did not impress me. Uh, but uh, the biggest problem for me is the color tone of this camera. It's kind of overexposed, overtoned colors. So basically, it shoots great, stabilized, very nice, crisp, clear video. But when it comes to colors and exposure on a bright, sunny day, you can see overexposed parts on the faces and different places. This actually ruins your video. Okay, here I take the quad up and uh, I will tilt the camera down and you can see suddenly you can notice a kind of reddish aura or reddish mixing of color just mixes up on everything and then color gets back to some yellowish when I'm turning the quad left and right I put the camera up and uh, colors try to get back to normal which are still I would say over overexposed or uh, like uh, too much color we need to tone that down here I'm walking and you can see my face is totally overexposed uh, because of the sunshine 
So you have to, again, plan your shots carefully during uh, bright sunny days when you're flying it. And if you want some really amazing, astonishing footage, you have to edit the color tones. You have to edit the color saturation hue, something like that when doing the video editing and then you can end up with some really quality footage so yes color tones and overexposed images with the camera they can ruin your shots this is one of the cons on the camera here number four i said the biggest problem was color tone but no hey there is one more bigger problem and that is about the live video feed coming to your video transmitter uh, to your vi uh, radio's lcd screen there is a serious lag uh, delay in the live video and if you try to fly FPV like uh, you know out of line of sight using the video only that is going to be a certain crash and even the unique company itself they warn the customers in user manuals and in their videos not to fly this thing with total uh, video like live video feed by looking at live video feed all the time that will be a certain crash because of the lag and delay in the live video so basically the company recommends and I would highly recommend you fly this quadcopter line of sight okay watching it and time by time switch your eyes to the LCD screen live video feed and to the quadcopter to line up a perfect shot move the quadcopter the way you plan it get your shot and look at the quadcopter again so this quadcopter is not designed to fly total FPV out of line of sight using the LCD don't try it trust me it's not gonna work and you're gonna end up crushing this beautiful baby number five uh, the live video uh, distance and live video issues uh, I have seen the videos from people who have flown it to 2000 up to 2500 meters to me personally, I have not flown it uh, over 300 meters or more than 300 meters. I have always kept the quadcopter in my line of sight and took the shots within, uh, within I would say, maximum, maximum 300 to 350 meters radius. Now, I keep uh, switching from quadcopter to my uh, LCD and I notice that the live video will freeze time by time and at some times it will take up to five to ten seconds to get back to live video and that scares the hell out of the pilots because once you have no video and your quadcopter is three four hundred meters away you have no orientation left so it really scares the hell out of you and all you can do at that time to be safe leave the sticks and let the quadcopter hover on GPS position hold mode or switch to auto return to home so that quadcopter will come closer and in eventually you will get your live video feedback so yes live video feed has not only a has serious delay but it freezes time by time and sometimes up to 10 seconds and that is why once again I would say plan your aerial filming routes shots plan ahead and take good shots by switching your eyesight from quadcopter to your live video feed and you will end up in a good video so remember that there is time by time this video freezing issue on this one number six i am i noticed the compass glitches during windy day well during the windy day i actually flown it uh, on a very windy day which was actually not recommended up to those uh, I mean those many winds the company says do not fly it I'm sure that th that day the winds were really really higher than the recommended winds and I noticed the quadcopter had certain uh, a heading glitch like I will yaw the quadcopter and it will over yaw more than what I wanted and then after a second or two it will try to yaw back to that position as you can see I was trying to get a very cool shot from top for this building I start yaw on my left and I saw the landing skids coming in and soon after that quad stops responding to my yaw I yaw it more and then it goes nuts check this out right here just turns itself to original orientation and as soon as it did that I activated the RTH Here's another shot. After a beautiful pan shot, I climb up and I wanted to take a full shot of this area by turning right, that means yaw right, 
and here quad stops I force it to your right and I see propeller and again it goes crazy turns to this side it starts flying to this side only and then it turns back erratically and gets stable that's where I activated the RTH so yes I noticed these glitches at times even on non windy days I did notice that at times on windy days the quadcopter will over yaw or overcompensate the yaw and then try to return back to that orientation that you were flying on before and time by time uh, on windy days it went very erratic but gotta give it to that it came back to its stable flight again so far no fly away or no such glitches which shows oh you have no control on it at every moment I had full control on quadcopter even when I lost the video like when video froze I had full control on the quadcopter. Number seven, follow me feature works as advertised but as I said you have to get used to it and see uh, what kind of behavior your quadcopter is giving you after setting it on a smart mode and then the um, you will get some lucky shots of course during the um, smart follow me feature. So don't fly it very low altitude because it will lose altitude during follow me. Don't fly it about your head height. It will come try to kiss you time by time. So keep it safe, keep it at a right angle somewhere um, at a good altitude clearing yourself and the trees. There is no collision detection when you are flying in follow me mode and you are happily running or doing whatever you want. If there is a tree building or anything in the way, quadcopter will happily hug that tree and crash. So remember, uh, follow me feature works, but not every time. Number eight, the turtle mode is really turtle. I, I know it's not turtle. It's actually, they should actually put a picture of snail here. It's not a turtle mode, it's a snail mode. So when you put it on turtle mode, hey, it's good for beginners, but even beginners don't want this slow quadcopter. So basically they should change the turtle to a snail and call it a snail mode, not a turtle mode. Turtle mode is absolutely slow, annoyingly slow. And for the rabbit mode, uh, well, I don't know, maybe I'm a... Uh, you know FPV racing pilot so I felt like that but in rabbit mode attitude mode is still I felt that quad is pretty slow well for me I would say it's pretty slow for beginners it could be pretty fast so uh, still I would say it's not a big con but uh, turtle mode is absolutely annoyingly slow number nine auto return to home and land I have tested various times and every time I have got an annoying 10 to 15 meters deviation so it does return to home and it does land but not exactly the same spot where it took off, took off from and not exactly just one or two meters deviation there's a whole lot of deviation so when you're activating auto return to home and land keep an eye on your quadcopter and if it is landing at the wrong place take control of your quadcopter and land it uh, safely somewhere number 10 25 minutes of flight times well yes it is possible but I tested one of these 5400 million 3s battery until the radio was uh, buzzing and vibrating and showing me the first set, uh, first level warning and then the second level warning when it says that immediately land uh, I my heart was beating because my quadcopter was pretty far but hey uh, it wasn't 25 minutes I'm not getting 25 minutes however I would say honestly that is enough flight time the quadcopter gives you up to 18 to 20 minutes I have flown it it's not a problem but not 25 minutes maybe 25 minutes in special conditions you know no wind flying slowly more hover time something like that Number 11, plastic material propeller. Where is that propeller? It's right, right here. Yes, this propeller has chipped off and that was just a little touch to the wall corner and propeller chipped the corner. So these propellers are really soft and easy to break on a hit. Uh, don't, you don't want to hit your quadcopter and also right after you finish your aerial filming, take the propellers off as soon as possible and keep them safe because they break easily during the transportation if you're hitting the quad you know to the corners or somewhere so careful for that these propellers break easily number 12 very interesting uh, there's a red button here that arms the motors start to stop the motors if you push this button uh, during the flight I have been told motors will stop and quadcopter will fall so you might want to do something about this red button do not push it accidentally 
or you will crash your quadcopter during the flight. Understand? Don't. You might want to install something like those nukes thing, you know, protection. Flip open and then press it and flip down. So during flight, you will not press it accidentally. Number 13, when I'm flying using this radio, the fan inside this radio makes absolute nice funny noises and vibrations during the flight that sometimes I feel that vibration means low battery and I have to look at the LCD screen and a telemetry flight data telemetry and I find there's no low voltage. So yes, the fan on, in, on the inside of this uh, radio control is sometimes annoyingly noisy. Now the last con that I want to talk about is the battery charger, that is stock battery charger that comes with it to charge your battery. And I was given two 5400 milliamp batteries, 3S of course, and the charger took forever to charge them. The charging time was so annoying, so taking forever that I went ahead and I quickly built, did uh, custom connectors for these batteries and I charged these batteries with my Duo 401 or charger, professional charger, and I can charge these batteries within 15 minutes. To their full extent. So basically the supply charger will take forever to charge their batteries, which is really, really annoying. I wish they could give a fast charger at least. Anyway, if you want to charge the batteries fast, you want to fly over and over again, you might want to get a professional charger even for the car to charge your batteries faster. Alright, enough with the cons. Now you have my honest, unbiased uh, review of this quadcopter. So before we end this uh, session, long, long session, I would go back to the uh, pros, the good features of this quadcopter. I'll go through very quickly. This is an absolute pleasure to fly Uni Q500 and it's a very very beginner friendly quadcopter. Flies like a dream right outside the box. All you need to do is do compass calibration just one time and if you geographically go far away from your city you have to do the compass calibration again or if you feel the GPS hole is not solid, it's toilet bowl movement, you can do compass calibration again. So basically right after compass calibration and charging batteries, of course fully charging batteries, uh, this thing is an absolute pleasure to fly, I would say. Beautiful. I just love its flight performance. It's really, uh, you know, obedient puppy for you. Number two, it shoots great stabilized video. As I said, the camera stabilization is absolutely stunning. I have never seen such beautiful stabilization on this kind of RTF system. So absolutely beautiful stabilization on camera gimbal. Very, very beautiful shots. If you plan right, you can get pure beautiful professional footage using this camera gimbal not to mention you have to edit the color tone of the camera and you can end up with some serious video footage follow me feature works like a breeze follow me feature is one of the charming most charming features that is actually very helpful for you to do selfies or self aerial film filming or your own sports aerial filming shots you can drive, you can ride, you can run, you can jump, you can jog and quadcopter will be following you. But to jump, jog, ride, drive, you have to carry this big baby, this big radio with you all the time making sure you are not pushing or pressing the buttons and switches around, okay? Flight endurance is very good, control distance up to 2500 meter, very very good but you don't want to go that far, you might want to keep the quadcopter in line of sight as mentioned there's a serious delay lag in the video a uh, very good gps position hold and return to home works as just superb so no worries turn off your radio and your quadcopter should come back life life data telemetry on the radio and of course low voltage battery uh, warning so that you can bring your quadcopter back before the batteries run out the quadcopter falls Ability to take the snapshots using a button and start to stop video is a very good thing because at times what I do, I fly the quadcopter, I take my shot and I stop recording the video because just in case if you crash the quadcopter, you might lose that video. So it's taking a snapshot and starting a video shot and finish stopping that video shot means you have perfectly saved the data in your uh, SDTF card and if you crash quad, if something goes wrong, you will not lose that shot. Uh, in case if you are still shooting and something goes wrong, you turn off the quadcopter without turning, without stopping the recording, you're going to lose your precious video footage or part of it. There is a recovery system for the video if you accidentally turn off the quadcopter and did not stop recording the video, but you might lose.
certain part of your beautiful precious footage for us aerial filming people video is the most important thing not the machine itself now before I conclude this video if you are wondering what is the flight controller in this quadcopter well I have done my research this quadcopter is using the same flight controller that is used in 350QX by Blade those quadcopters it's the same flight controller from Horizon Hobby but I'm not worried because so far it hasn't given me any problems so far it works like a dream it's, it's simply absolute charming uh, absolute pleasure to fly this quadcopter I would say so let's conclude this uh, despite of all the cons I have described I would say still this quadcopter is totally worthy of every penny you pay for it I got a good deal with two batteries additional propellers and I have flown it many times windy days non windy days and so far I'm simply in love with this quadcopter It's simply absolutely beautiful to fly very superb flight performance and a pleasure to fly every time it can get you addicted and the video shot of course the video shot with this quadcopter can sometimes give you very stunning professional quality professional grade aerial videos as I said if you plan it right so thank you very much Unique for making a Q500 such a superb quadcopter and thank you very much everybody watching this long 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 video I'm gonna wait for uh, you know weather to clear out and I'm gonna go ahead and fly more to take more beautiful shots using this quadcopter I'm turning up the radio